Hey Cyberosians, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about cross docking. Cross docking is a logistic strategy that is used in supply chain management to transfer the product from the supplier or manufacturer to the customer side. And this process involves the unloading of the incoming products uh, from the inbound transportation that can be a truck or container and loading to the outbound transportation and that too can be a truck or container to just transfer the product to the end destination. And the main peculiarity of this cross docking strategy is that it frees up the warehouse spaces and also improves the efficiency of the um, movement of the product. In simple words, we can say that cross docking is a way of unloading the product from the uh, one truck and loading the product to another truck to just transfer the product to the end destination. So let's check the functionality. To manage with the cross docking, let's hop into the inventory database and we need to just go to the configuration settings and enable the multi-step route. So multi-step route allow you to manage with routes in the warehouses. And uh, here we are going to manage the um, cross docking from the warehouse. Uh, so you can just move on to the warehouses and find the warehouses over here. And we will be performing the incoming shipment uh, and outgoing shipment as in two, two steps so that the goods will be received into the input and then to the stock and uh, later on when a demand is created from the customer side the goods uh, will be sent to the output and then will be delivered to the customer. Now we need to manage with the routes. So to manage with the routes you can just move on to the configuration menu and choose routes over here. So as we have just chosen the incoming shipment and outgoing shipment, we can manage with the um, yeah warehouse uh, with the cross docking strategy. So here you can see the rules that is applied. This can be easily explained that we will be performing a pull operation. So whenever a customer is demanding for the product, then we will perform a pull operation, which means the pro when the products are needed at the output location, an internal transfer will be created in the input to fulfill the needs and uh, that will be created in the uh, warehouse input. Now let's move on uh, to the other rule and from this we can understand that when the products are needed in the partner customer location, a delivery operations will be created in the warehouse output so that we can just uh, perform the delivery operation. Okay, And later on, uh, let's move on to the sales module to manage with the uh, order. So here uh, we have just received an order from the customer uh, deco edict. So here you can choose a customer deco edict and here we are going to consider the product desk pad. So uh, in case of desk pad you can see that the quantity is currently zero. So to manage with the cross docking we also need to con uh, consider certain things like we need to designate a vendor so here we have already designated a vendor and here you can see that uh, we have to just perform a routes uh, operations over here. Like whenever a customer has demanded for a certain product, we will be buying the product first without keeping them in the inventory. We will be directly just uh, delivering the item to the customer uh, from the manufacturer or from the vendor side to the customer. So to Perform the cross docking, we also need to enable the cross dock route under the product. So we will be performing a cross docking for the desk pad. Here we have just received an order for 10 quantity of desk pad and we don't have sufficient quantity. So in this case, first we need to purchase the item and uh, after purchasing, we will be directly sending this product from the input to the customer side. So here you can just save this quotation and confirm the order. So as we have just confirmed the order, you can see that here two delivery operations as well as a purchase is created. This is because we have just enabled uh, the buy route uh, under the product desk pad so that a buy operation will be generated over here. And you can see here we will be performing two delivery operation and currently these operations are in waiting state. This is because we don't have sufficient quantity of the product. So once the product is in stock, we can just deliver the item to the customer. And this is only because we have just enabled the incoming shipment as well as the outgoing shipment. Here you can see delivery is to 
This is because we have just enabled the outgoing shipment in two steps. So first we need to purchase the item and keep in the input. So uh, you can just confirm the order. So here you can see that now we need to receive the product in the input. And you can see uh, the uh, vendor is Abigail. So we are purchasing the item from the Abigail Peterson and will be delivering to the central warehouse. So here we will be performing an internal transfer to keep the products in the stock. So let's receive the products and click on validate so that you can see that currently we have just received from, uh, I mean, the products from uh, Abigail Peterson to the warehouse input. And you can see over here. Now, when you just back to the sales order, you can see we can make the delivery of the item and currently the product is in its input and we can just move the product to the output location and from output location we can just deliver the item to the customer so you can just click on validate so that the product will be moving from the input location to the output location of the warehouse now the final step is to deliver the item so here you can just move on to the uh, other operation to perform the delivery and here you can see we are performing a pull operation uh, and we can see that currently the source location of the product is warehouse output and when we just click on validate, um, a pull operation will be triggered over here to just deliver the item to the customer, Deco Addict. So you can just perform that and we have to then with our delivery. And when you just move on to the inventory module, you can see the product movement under the reporting tab um, and you can choose move history and you can see everything over here. Here you can find that we have just received an order from the customer, Deco Addict for disk pad and uh, that has taken from the vendor to the input side and from the input to the output location of the warehouse and from output to the partner customer and we have just delivered the item so as the product were in the stock you can see that is indicated in red color and as it was in the output uh, i mean warehouse output that will be indicated in black color and as we have just delivered the item to the customer we can see a reduction in the number of quantity in the stock so that will be indicated in red color. So this is how we manage with the cross docking and cross docking is one of the um, strategy that is used by every business uh, to manage with the delivery of the item without keeping the stock in the warehouse location for longer period of time. So you can make use of cross docking strategy to just deliver the item from your incoming location to the end destination which improves your inventory movement. So hope this concept is clear for you as always stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.